Hey guys, Tim here. I'm all by myself for this show, but we are excited to be in Cleveland, Ohio still with our boot camp for League of Legends. Uh, we have been in One Life to Play uh, for their PC facility. They've done a great job hosting us. Uh, nothing but love from, from Cincinnati Fear to them. Um, and we were lucky enough to have this throughout the whole two week playoff. Um, and we just kind of want to show it off and where the players have been playing and just the facility where you could come uh, and compete as well. So check it out. My name is Paige Ratten. I am one of the owners here at One Life to Play. Uh, recently took it over and have the, a great team with us here and it is an 11,000 square foot facility uh, in Parma, Ohio, right outside of downtown Cleveland. We have a gigabit of internet here, uh, we have consoles, we have PCs, we have switches, everything you could possibly want to game with. Uh, we have high graphics cards, everything that you could possibly want here, we've got it. <laughs> the facility is outfitted to have everyone from the competitive gamer to the casual gamer do a lot with local colleges, local schools in general. Everyone is welcome to come here and game, no matter your background, your skill level, anything like that. Mm -hmm. One of the great benefits of One Life to Play is we have a private um, event breakout room for teams, clubs, collegiate, educational, anything like that. Uh, professional teams are obviously here and using it, just like the Fury right now. And we love that space because we have five of the HP Omens we give people their own space to, to be private, to also have to um, specific booths and streamers for streamers or broadcasters. You have your own private restroom. Really, you can essentially make your own area inside of here and not have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. And while we have been at One Life to play for the past two weeks, um, this is the last week of playoffs for us. Uh, and this past Sunday, we were able to compete against the Sky's Toast team. Uh, they won it out. We got two wins, they got three. Uh, we started out really strong with two back-to-back -back wins, uh, but unfortunately, Disguise Toast team was able to, you know, at the end, win three in a row uh, for the victory. So we do have some highlights from that because it was a great series from us. Um, we do want to give credit to where our team and as well as Disguise Toast team. Oh, we got another 5v5. There's the flashes coming in. The Royal Prison is used. Crash down, locked down from that but it's not oh, gonna be so enough. Good. Young already goes Anui. down too, and it's huge damage from the poke of Anui. Tobio going to Philip, and the wow. monster has woken up. The scythe is gleaned, and Fear with a triple kill to Philip will strike down Disguise. Already your big gun gone. Meech is down, and Fear had their eyes on the Nexus. They just need a little oh, bit man. of push. They're getting the resets out for Manui and for Shochi to get the TPs back. Oh, that's gets the it. double TP back in. And this is Fear looking for the final touches. The Elder Dragon sleeps so whimsically as this game, almost a 50 minute banger, is looking like the final touches here. Shochi and Manui are the ones to watch. They do a lot of damage as well. Young getting caught out. It goes golden. There's not enough defense for DSG. They're starting to fall down like dominoes. And Fear, they were stressing this entire time. They wow. had some trials and tribulations before the series, but they show DSG that they need to be respected. Game one, a drag out fight goes to Cincinnati Fear. I, and you, know, you have to be careful of it. Tomio and the rest of DSG, they're forcing the hand though. They have, they're trying to make a replay oh God, on what Fear did, but that's not their time. It's not their place to do so. JJ's gonna go down potentially here, but both Fake God and JJ are still alive. You've got the range. Young, the first divide from Young is so big. Re-engage from Zazel, but look at Perry this entire time. Oh. He was untouched. He's cleaning up the marks and he's cleaning up the toast as disguised are taken out one by one. Oh it's my God. Destriment. It is absolute domination and a 3K lead into the Baron for Cincinnati Fear. The part of LCS, he wants to be on that stage again. So hold on, Perry. You gotta be careful. Look at Philip. he's on Meech. You can't do that. You've got to pay the tax to the crocodile under the bridge. As Pinkot goes in, he's just dragged out by JJ and Manui gets the kill in the end. Philip is still fighting a 1v3 and he ends up pushing Young and Tomio off of it. Fear, they're putting the thumbs down because they're trying to put the end on oh. this game and Young is gone. Everything coming clutch for Fear. First game took 50 minutes, but we'll take just over half that for this one. And so while we did play Disguise Toast Team on Sunday, we did have another series. We got a second chance since we were in the winner's bracket. 
uh, against Evil Geniuses on Tuesday. Um, and we did end up losing that one as well, sadly. Um, the, that would end our season, unfortunately. Um, I'm super proud of all the guys. They did a wonderful job um, from, you know, Philip and JJ, who are newcomers to the team, uh, to uh, Perry, Sochi, and Manui for coming back for the second season um, and doing just as well as they did last season, but even better. Um, big hearts to the guys. They did so well. Um, and I just want to congratulate them and tell them just how proud I am of them. But we do have some highlights from that one as well, uh, so check it out. Yeah, especially because Manui having to flash and look that they follow up. I mean, he's already gone golden. Can you keep Manui alive? Survive. He did, a lot of again. he did a lot of damage before dying, but that's going to be the effort to find keeping Perry on the other side of the wall. And with EGC on top of him, even if you're a tank, you'll eventually fall to the might of EGC. Oh, they could look for Surti as well on the other side. They've got the root, and that's going to be the TP in. He's with a light turn out. But he is huge. How little damage are you actually healing. doing to him? He just keeps healing. Finally, they're able to get the kill. But Rayoma has gone golden on the other side. But Smoothie, the quickness is trying to set up. Manui, he's cutting back. He's still alive. They got him dead. And King, the only one. Ryoma is going to be careful. Because look at how much damage. Wait, wait. What is going on right now? Uh, Armeo survived? Perry's no been winning there. these smite fights. They know Surdy, they're jumping on him. Two members trying to focus on him, but Armeo, he also went there with the dock of only onto one, but they got the pick up onto Philip. Can they damage. get the kill onto Armeo, but he goes in the stasis. That's gonna be the trade. Oh, Double it's kill! So winning. Triple kill! Shochi, the protagonist of the team of Cincinnati Fear, picks up the quadra kill. And look at these spawn timers. It's almost a minute on every member of EG. They could look to push this to the end, and if not, they are breaking down inhibitors. That Elder Dragon, it should be all but theirs. Should I don't think they need Elder. I think this game think is over. Win, they yeah. have a minion wave. They got the minion wave, and there's long death timers here for EGC. Shochi on his Z with the quadra kill to bring back this game for the brink of annihilation for Cincinnati Fear. They will tie up the series because even though Smoothie will be spawning in five seconds, there's nothing left standing for EGC. It is the confidence gaming of Cincinnati Fear to get us at one apiece. Okay. Get the charm nice on the parry. Oh, wow. The flash in, but Armeo a little deep. So he's got to be careful. The crash down, getting him with Dude's the Magnus Storm. But they do lose JJ. That's going to be the Feather Storm. Maybe the flash is out of several members. It's going to be the trade of support at the moment. But look at King in the back line, getting the double kill as he takes down Perry. Shochi trying to chase down Armeo, which leaves Manui by himself to get triple killed by King. All the while, Surdy now fighting against Philip and Whoa. Shochi. Triple kill on the other side. We just got craziness from both teams. It is a bloody fight. He is the one set up for victory, and now he is here, dashing into the back line, but he's bounced around, and they could kill him. Get him, the shutdown for JJ with the Ignite, and look at Smoothie, almost taking down the calling, but Joe what an engage on the other side, as Armeo does die too, and it's Fear coming out on top. The Baron is up, they're starting the damn thing. 6K up doesn't mean jack for Cincinnati Fear, and it's gonna get lower and lower now. And in non-League of Legends news, we have the Red Bull Flutog coming up August 12th on Saturday. Uh, we're really excited for it. Um, we do have an interview with the design team. Um, we're really excited to see what MSA Sports can come up with. Um, and so just kind of check it out and be sure to stay tuned for all kinds of updates because we'll have plenty more coming in the future. Last few weeks have been good. As you, as you noted, the, it's kind of a zero to 60, every construction project's the same way. This, this is no different. Um, first couple days, everyone's super excited because we're cutting all these shapes. We've got our templates. It's a lot of cutting, it's a lot of gluing, it's a lot of taping, it's a lot of tracing. And that kind of gets to a point where you know, you're know you churning, churning, churning. You finally get to the tail end. And that's kind of where we are right now, um, is in the, the infancy of the assembly stage. It's a good lesson and folks are kind of looking at the drawings and they see all this stuff dimension and they're like, wow, this thing looks really big. You know, how, how big is big? How big is 22 feet? How big is 15 feet? Well, we started the mock-up um, as early as late last week and started putting this thing together. And it's what's gonna show you, like some light bulbs went off, like man, that this thing is gonna be gigantic because you can now see it in the first person. So it's been fun. So we're entering the, the assembly stage. Right now we're on a three times a week schedule. We do every Tuesday, Thursday evening, and Saturday afternoon. Um, with two weeks left, we'll continue that this week. Next week will probably be the typical rush toward the, um, the finish line or the edge of the platform, whichever you prefer. But next week will probably be a little bit hectic, which is good. That's how it always ends up. 
Um, and I think we'll be in good shape because we've got the folks in here at our site putting together the craft, the piece that's going to fly. And then we've got a second team starting to put together the, um, the cart, basically the wheeled component that this thing will sit on that we launch it into the Ohio River on. So the, ne the next couple weeks are going to be kind of fast and furious, but we'll get to the finish line. Aside from our whole construction team that's building this craft, we have the, um, the choreography team, right? We've got the five folks that are going to be on the platform on game day when this thing goes off the edge. So that whole group has been rigorously practicing their moves, so to speak. I think they have about a 30 second skit or performance that um, they're going over and over and over on. So I haven't seen it. I think I know a little bit about the music. I know the, um, the, th the themes. It's gonna be pretty exciting. They're um, tirelessly practicing, let's put it that way. And that's it. Lots of information, lots of fun stuff happening at Cincinnati Fear. Um, hopefully we can do a fun in-person thing again. It's been you know on the road for the past few weeks, but lots of fun things happening. Um, being busy is good for us. So looking forward to you know next week's show and you know and also the Red Bull Flu Talk. So stay tuned. Bottoming out. Yeah. As is. And that go will get it. Able to flick it high. And they are gonna punch their ticket in.